Today, I want to talk to you about the video editor called InShot. It is available on the iPhone and also on Android, and it is super versatile if you want to edit videos on the go. And today, we're going to be talking about text, how to add a text, how to format the text, and how to find out where you do that, because it is hidden a little bit shyly away, and some of the wording is not what we normally associate with text. So let's jump straight into my phone, and I'll show you exactly how to format the text and how to edit it to suit your needs. Okay, so I've just added a blank template so that I can show you exactly how to edit and format the text. It makes it a lot easier. So as you can see along the bottom here, we have our sort of like our menu bar, I suppose, down here. And here you can see there is this text icon. If you click the text icon, it's going to bring up a box. Now you can type in the text. So I'm just going to type in here, text goes here. Now you can see instantly that my text has a background to it, but you can also see that along here, there are some options, keyboard, color, font, direction, animation, and whether you're happy with what you've done. Now, when you write the text, you it basically goes to the default of the text that you probably wrote before. So in order for you to change the color of the text, you need to go into the color wheel. So when you click on the color wheel, this is where all the magic happens because now we have the option to have a border, a shadow, a label and how see-through you want your text. Now, in the InShot app, label means background. Okay, so as you can see, my text at the moment has a background. It's white text on a red background. If I were to go to the label option and I take the label off, so in other words, I click this option here, my label goes from my text. And now I just have white text on whatever color background you have inside of your video, or if you're using the photo side of it, the photo. Now, if you want to add a color to the background, you can choose the color options from the color wheel or the color list here. And it's quite varied. And you can also, if we go back to the beginning, use the Doppler option. So if you click that, it will take the color from around your video. So if you've got a, a video which has a accent color that you want to use, you can go ahead and use that. Now, if I were to put the background color back on, so let's just choose that red again, it gives me the background. Now, also while we're on the label, as you can see down the bottom here in this section, we have these other label options. So you can have a, a bold label. You can also have like a checkered label, you can have a label that's got rounded corners. You can have a completely round label. You can have a box with a square outline. You can have a dashed outline. You can have like checkery boxes with like a, a solid outline and a background. You can have that in a square and so on and so on. So there's lots of different variations hidden behind the color option just to start off with. So we just keep it to the basics whilst we're here. That's the background. If you want the background to be semi-opaque, you can click the uh, opacity option and then you can just move this along and it will, as you can see, it just generally fades the background away and then it brings it up to the solid color as well. Now, so that's the, op the opacity. Then go back to the label. We've got the label. If you can hear a little budget, it's because I've got a little friend in the room at the moment. And then if we go to shadow, that gives you a completely new option. So let's make that black. You can see that my text has now been lifted off the background with this black um, color. And down here, you can see that it's 50%. If I were to make it much stronger and much weaker, you can see how it varies in color. So you can go up and down to 100 to 50. So I'm just going to put it back to 50. You can also change the angle. Oh, the bird's really going for it now. You can also change the angle by changing the X and the Y. So if you want the angle to be a different angle, you can see how it's moving around like so. So that's how you do the shadow. If I go to the border option now, so here's the border. So the border, we color, let's go to yellow. We can see that we're now giving our 
text a border. And again, you, you alter the thickness of the border and the thinness of the border by just moving that little uh, bit down here to the left and the right. So you can alter that as you wish. And then of course we have the text. If you want the text to be a different color, buddy, you want the text to be a different color, you just change the text color. And as you can see, the effects are really good. Now, remember that these are settings that you can change and you can um, adapt them as you wish. Down the bottom, you can see that there's all these other little options. So if I go through, you can see that I can instantly change these options. And that goes back to what I was just doing. So these were like the memories of what I've just done. So you can go through and play around with those. And again, if you need to change anything, you just go through and change it up. Once you're happy with what you've done, you click the tick option. And that's going to present the text for the length of the video that you've got. So if you've got more video in there, you've got more um, photos and things like that, and your, your timeline is longer, then obviously you can alter the text. Now, if you want to make the text shorter, you just drag the option along and you can make the text go to short to long. If you wanted to add a new text block, all you need to do is click on this new text option here and it will give you another text block to play with. Again, do some typing. So new line here, so let me put that. Now you can see that it's defaulted again to the, what the previous text was like. So again, go into the color wheel go to label, change the background to something else. You can click okay, OK again. And now you just need to move it with your finger up and down. And you can also move it so that it um, shows up at different times. So I could have this just say like halfway and I could have this one show up here. Then when I press play, I get the new line, then that goes off and the new text comes in. If you want to um, add animation to the text after you've added it by clicking the text option, clicking the option that you want, going to edit. So go in here where it says edit. And then if you want to add animation to this, you use this little animation option here. Click that and then you get all these different options for animation. So you can have it doing um, a wobble, you can have it doing a uh, ziggy zaggy. You can have it spinning around and going the other way. You can have it zooming in and out, have it doing the heartbeat. You can have it doing the ding dong. And you can have it doing like a bold one. You can alter the direction that they come in by using the uh, direction option. And you can just play around with that. And you have an in option. And you also have an out option. So if you want it to go out differently, it comes in one and it goes out another. So it's entirely up to you how you work it out. Once you're happy with it, you just remember to click the OK button and that will be all you need to do. To delete the text, again, just click the timeline with your hand, go to text, hold on to one of the texts that you want to delete, move this timeline here along until you get to the delete option and you can delete it there. Again, you can also copy it or you can duplicate it. So if you wanna duplicate it, I click duplicate and it will pull that along to the end of the timeline that you're working with. So it's really, really versatile and really, really useful to know how to do that. So super quick tutorial on how to actually add text to your movie or your image, how to edit that text, how to add animation, change the colorway, change the shapes, the backgrounds and the um, coloring. If you have any other questions about using InShot and adding text to your videos or your images, then just pop them underneath this video and I'll be sure to answer them with another video in the future. My name's Anita Wong. I'm a video marketing and YouTube expert and I'm here to help you to use the tools at your fingertips in order to use video to grow your business online and specifically on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Do like this video and do feel free to share it with whomever you wish. Okay, I will see you in the next video.